Hey everybody, it's Gary the Google Guy here with a new update regarding Google Meet. Today we're going to have a look at the new Google Meet interface. It's been refreshed and revamped. So let's have a look. Down on the bottom left corner of the screen, you are going to see what time it is in your area. And then just to the right of that, you will see the code that you can copy and paste and maybe ping it to someone in a chat to get into your meeting. Just to the right of that, in the middle and bottom of the screen, you're going to see a revamped toolbar. You're now going to see the microphone icon and the video camera icon right next to each other, which is ideal because I can't tell you how many meetings I was on before where people would accidentally hit the hang up button when they meant to either mute themselves or unmute themselves or turn on or off their video camera. So they've moved it to the far side of that toolbar to avoid those mishaps. Now in the middle of the screen, you are going to see your caption turn on and turn off. However, if you just click it on from here, it's only going to turn your captions on. However, I want to give you another tip in just a moment on how to get some additional languages for that. Just to the right of that, your hand raising feature. Just to the right of that, your present now button. So it's going to look a little bit different, but you'll see the same options in terms of presenting your entire screen, a window, or that tab. Another piece here is going to be that three dot icon where are more options. If we click on that, we'll be able to pop this up and you'll see the menu that you're probably used to seeing before with a little bit of a trick. If you go to the captions in this menu, when you click and turn it on from here, it will give you some additional options for the additional languages of English, German, Portuguese, and Spanish. So that may help some of you there. But other than that, you'll see all of your other options that you're probably used to seeing within your account. You'll have just to the right of that your hang up or leave call button. And then in the far right bottom corner, you'll see your information for all of the meeting details, dial in numbers and such there. You can click on the quick copy link there and then ping it to someone in an email or a chat as well. You'll also see just to the right of that your people icon to see who's on the call and anybody that may be raising their hand. You'll see your chat box and then a revamped activities button. When we click on this, you'll see that you still have your breakout rooms, polls, and Q&A, but then they've added a quick link to your recording option as well as your digital whiteboarding options. And I really like that quick access as opposed to having to find it in that menu. Now another revamp that they've done is with the lower right corner and that is your video feed that we see here in the bottom right of my screen. If you hover your cursor over your video feed, you'll see that you have a double headed arrow and when we click on that, it will minimize it, meaning it's going to turn your video feed off for you, but others will still be able to see you. You can turn your camera on and off and your microphone on and off from here. Let's click on that double headed arrow again. Another piece you'll see is the icon in the middle of your picture. When we click on that, it pulls up your full video feed. We can click on that again and minimize it so I can see more of the screen and maybe more of the people that I'm actually on the call with. And then lastly, you'll see the option to pin it. Now, another piece that's kind of cool is that if you have this minimized view or you have the view where you can see yourself like I can right now. Either way, you can take this button and hover over your feed and then you can drag and drop and put your video feed wherever you want in your screen, which is kind of cool. So it's simply grab that four headed arrow icon and then you can put this feed wherever you want. So I really like that flexibility there. Well, that's it for now. I just wanted to show you the brief update, give you the heads up that something's coming, might have come already, I should say, or maybe it's on the way in the next day or two. And if you don't see it in the next few days, you might want to just empty your cookies and cash just to refresh your account. Until we meet again, everybody, another day, another time, another update. This is Gary the Google Guy, signing off.